Flash graphene changing the world. Okay, so we have this paper coming out and uh, uh, it probably by the time you see this, it's gonna be out. It's on flash graphene. It's a way of taking any carbon source and turning it into graphene. Graphene is single atomic sheets of graphite. They are, they are uh, um, it's the strongest material known and it's lightweight because it's made out of carbon yet it has the conductivity of a metal. And uh, uh, so it really lightens the weight, but it's gonna be used in composites. We've shown it can be used in concrete. $67,000 to $200,000 per ton is what it sells for right now. We can turn trash into graphene. Any carbon source we turn into graphene. Plastic bottles, plastic waste, the, the problem with, with recycling plastic is it costs more to recycle it than it does to make fresh plastic because of the human separation, because you throw all your plastic into the waste dump and then human beings actually have to stand there and separate the different types of plastic into the, into the different bins as it's going down these lines. That costs a lot of money. We take the combined plastic waste and we turn it into graphene. No solvent. In 10 milliseconds, we just put an electrical charge across it, pow, and it turns into graphene. We can take plastic, turn it into graphene. We can do all of this. And, you know, plastic is a real problem in the world. It's just getting all over the place. And there's, there's this micro and nanoplastics which are disrupting immune systems, which are disrupting the oceans. And, and uh, uh, so wouldn't it be great if we became plastic neutral? Have you ever heard of that? Plastic neutral. If we become plastic neutral, then, then uh, for every ton of plastic that is made, we convert a ton of plastic into graphene. And why is it good to convert it into graphene? Because you can take that graphene, you can put it into things like into concrete, and you use one third less concrete by, by adding a little bit of graphene to it. You put it in, in composite wood structures. Now how is graphene on the environment? Graphene's shown to be really quite good as long as we don't not, not throwing it in the oceans or in lakes or anything. It's great for composites because our world already has graphite, which is stacks of graphene. And our world already has graphite. It's a natural mineral. It's not a toxic mineral. And if, if microbes were decomposing this and turning it into CO2, then there would be no more graphite in the world. So, so it's gonna last at least hundreds of years, maybe even thousands of years, and then we'll be on to new technologies at that point. And so it's a great way of storing this. Now, you may say, well, we'll just trap CO2 and do carbon sequestration that way and pump the CO2 down hole. Because what we're doing is we're pulling up all this carbon assets from under the ground, from coal and, and oil and gas, and then we usually combust it. It ends up as CO2 and we carbonize our world. We want, it, we want to decarbonize so much of this because we have this excess of carbon. You say, well, we'll take carbon dioxide and pump it down hole. Did you know for every molecule of carbon dioxide that you put down hole, you do get rid of one carbon, but you also get rid of two oxygen atoms. We need oxygen to live. So wouldn't it make more sense to convert it into graphene, to convert materials into graphene, and then we, we can take the carbon, we can use it for building materials, we can use it in all these other platforms. It never becomes volatile carbon again, and we don't get rid of our oxygen in the process. It is an amazing uh, thing that's just coming out. This is gonna really transform what we can do with materials. Waste food, 30 to 40% of all food in the world is thrown out. And, and what we can do now is we can take that food and we turn it into graphene because food is made out of carbon. It's at least 40% carbon. And, and uh, uh, the reason we eat carbon is because we're made out of carbon. And so we eat these carbon uh, uh, materials. And so we turn the carbon into graphene and the other non-carbon components will come out and volatilize out. We can trap some of those and use them for other applications. So this is the technology that's coming out. It's really gonna transform the way we use materials. And that's what this, this, this whole flash graphene process is talking about. And it makes an interesting form of graphene. It makes a form of graphene called turbostratic graphene, meaning that the layers are not oriented well relative to each other. Typically, graphene is now made by mining graphite. So big trucks go in and they, they pull this stuff out of the ground, a lot of energy. And then they take the graphite and they exfoliate it with big machines. And, and the remaining stacks are AB stacked. They're perfectly oriented, hard to pry them apart. When we make it in this process, it happens so quickly that the layers have not time to order. And so because of that, 
because they can't order then when you put it in composites it disperses much better you want to be able to disperse the nanomaterials in the composite you have to do that because the way you strengthen the material by making a nano composite you have to have two things you have to have good dispersion and good interfacial interaction between the nanomaterial and the host material. So in order to get good dispersion using turbostratic graphene is a tremendous advance. This was discovered in our lab in, in the summer of 2018 by a student named Dewey Luong, and he's the first author on this paper that's just coming out uh, uh, in nature, and it's just gonna be a tremendous advance for humankind, and I just wanna bless the world with this. Let's try to bless the world with this.